who's the management director, Charles Shannon, public works director, Randy Lovett, MTA, MTA CEO, Steve Bland, and Eric Cole, who's been running point in the mayor's office on our uh, homeless response. I want to thank everyone in Nashville for your cooperation and patience over the past couple of days. This morning went well, given the uh, circumstances. As many people stayed off the roads um, today and Public Works was able to continue their work. As I said yesterday, it's going to be a long week and the forecast from the National Weather Service indicates it's going to be a long couple of weeks with a lot of low temperatures and more precipitation. But we're going to get through this together as a community. While we've gotten a slight break in the weather today, thanks to the sun coming out, we continue to deal with below freezing temperatures and those will be with us the rest of the week and into next week. Our Metro Public Works crews, which have been working around the clock in 12 hour shifts, started to make some headway in clearing the ice off the roads today. They have addressed all our primary roads and are hoping to finish treating secondary roads today. We have made substantial progress. But temperatures tonight and tomorrow and the possible half inch to one inch of snow that's forecast overnight could make it difficult to keep the roads clear. The National Weather Service in the past hour has issued a winter weather advisory in effect from midnight tonight to noon tomorrow. Please take that very seriously. We expect many roads to remain challenging tomorrow morning. So we're asking everyone to continue to be cautious and patient. As for travel tomorrow morning, I urge Nashvillians to use discretion and make well-informed decisions about seeing how any overnight weather situation has impacted our roadways. Because we have to focus our resources on primary and secondary roads, neighborhood roads could remain treacherous. Do what is best to keep you and your family members safe. Here at Metro, we will continue to work to keep the city safe. Employee safety is a top concern, so we give discretion to our department heads to determine which employees and office functions are essential. Like we'll be doing in Metro, I am asking private employers to consider staggering when employees report in and when they leave so our streets don't get clogged during rush hour. Consider, consider allowing employees a two-hour delay to get into work like we're doing in the Metropolitan Government. And like Metro, consider skeleton crews or having employees work remotely. The main thing I want to stress today is that everyone needs to stay, stay safe on the roads. If you don't need to be out on the roads, then please don't. The other main thing we're going to uh, keep our eyes on is the extreme cold. Prolonged exposure to this weather can be very dangerous. So please limit your time outdoors and get out of any wet clothes as soon as you can. The next couple of days are going to be especially cold. A strong cold front is expected to arrive tomorrow and temperatures are forecast to drop below zero on Wednesday night heading into Thursday morning. We may experience record low temperatures. We could get more snow Friday and heavy rain on Saturday. All of this means everyone needs to be very careful. Please keep your pets indoors if you can. Check on any neighbors who are homebound or might otherwise need extra attention, like getting food deliveries or prescription medicine. For families looking for things to do or people just needing a warm place, the National Public Library's main library downtown and its branches around the city are open and available. Metro Parks also plans to open its regional community centers tomorrow, and the Nashville's Farmers Market will open tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m with limited vendors uh, based on who can get there safely. These warming facilities will be crucial gathering places in the coming cold days, but please only go to these facilities if you can get there safely by driving, walking, or using mass transit. We need to be especially aware of our homeless citizens, and I want to thank all the congregations and other organizations that stepped up yesterday to provide extra shelters and we'll need that kind of selfless effort and cooperation again for at least the next few nights. A level four emergency remains in effect for the ice storm and extreme cold. This is the highest alert level of the cold weather community response plan, a community partnership between homeless service groups and the metropolitan government. No one should be outside for long periods of time. Any person experiencing homelessness should not risk exposure. They should come into a shelter. 
We are backing up the local shelters to meet the needs they identify, such as food and transportation. Last night, several shelters will, were full or over capacity. However, the Nashville Rescue Mission, just south of downtown on Lafayette Street, the men's campus and the women's campus still had rooms available. The mission wants to emphasize that its door, wants me to emphasize here that its doors are always open. Metro opened an overflow emergency shelter at the fairgrounds last night. The Office of Emergency Management, supported by the Metro Homeless Commission and Metro Social Services, is operating the shelter. First responders will use this temporary shelter for emergency drop-offs. Times like this illustrate our strong partnership with community nonprofits. By closely working with them, we have been able to monitor the needs of our homeless population and work to address those needs. Metro assets, the police department, the fire department, the Office of Emergency Management, and Public Works all continue to assist persons who are distressed and need help with emergency transportation. Since Saturday at 6 a.m., police have made contact with 340 individuals during extreme weather. 90 persons have accepted their assistance with transport to shelter. This winter, they have made 5,163 contacts and 721 have accepted their assistance of transport to shelter. If you know of anyone in distress or with critical transportation needs, please call 615-862-8600 unless it's a life-threatening situation. For life-threatening circumstances, please dial 911. We are encouraging congregations to respond to Room in the Inn's request for help and open their doors as long as it is safe for them. Individuals can help by visiting www.coldweathernashville.com and clicking on How You Can Help tab. Again, I want to thank everyone who's working to provide shelter from this brutal cold to our homeless citizens. I also want to make sure everyone is aware of the emergency resources that are available from the Metro government. Metro Public Works hotline for emergency road needs is 615-862-8750. Again, our public work crews are working 24 hours a day to keep roads salted and cleared as much as possible. Our Metro fleet deserves praise for keeping public safety and public work vehicles up and running under difficult conditions. Metro Water Services crews are ready to respond quickly and repair any water main breaks. Their 24-hour emergency hotline is 615-862-4600. The Metro Transit Authority is operating buses on its highest volume routes along major corridors today. MTA will monitor the situation tonight and at this point plans to run its full snow routes tomorrow. For more information, please visit MTA's website or its social media accounts. Metro Schools has announced that it will be closed tomorrow <clears throat> and the rest of the week. We wanted to go ahead and let you know so that families can start making plans. The Emergency Operations Center here is the building uh, it remains partially activated so metro departments and our partner community agencies can work together face to face in real time to manage the situation and keep our community safe. We expect to remain activated um, through Friday. NES has done a superb job of getting power restored to thousands. At this point, they are working to get power back to approximately 800 residences. Finally, I encourage anyone who doesn't use it to, all, to use the Nashville Emergency Response Viewing Engine, or NERV, which is an online tool created after the 2010 flood. NERV provides information about storm-related road closures, any evacuation areas or routes, shelters and relief center, and it also includes a media tab with a Twitter feed and press releases. NERV is available at NERV nashville.gov. One final note, um, the Nashville Predators, the best team in the Hockey League, plans to hold its game tonight against uh, San Jose at the Bridgestone Arena. A word to all the fans, be extremely cautious as you walk to tonight's game. Ice may have uh, reformed on sidewalks and streets, particularly at the conclusion of the game. Thank you again to our citizens for your patience, cooperation, and your sense of calm. 
As I said earlier, we're going to work through this.